Hello everybody and welcome back to what is decidedly not the chill zone. We are currently dealing with a bunch of crap. However, I took a bit, of, a bit of a look around while we were on break and I discovered that this guy, the guy who just declared war on us but we crushed his army a couple times, is actually willing to do a white piece. So we'll go ahead and get him on out of here. And then we can come up here and deal with our rebellion. This rebellion... We'll have to wait. This guy is the war for Sweden. He's going to have to have a fair amount of war score over here. So we'll be able to get over there, or rather, Italy will be able to get over there. What do we actually have for boats? Eh, we have enough to move a few troops. Okay. Well, we'll go ahead and finish dealing with this revolt. There we go. He accepted the white piece. Sounds good. So we're out of that war. He did not particularly want to do much there, I guess. And she is, in fact, going to be helping us in our war to hold the title of King of Sweden. So we'll go ahead and do this. And hey, okay. Large bands of rebels and opportunists are flocking to the banner of the faithful Faithless Trader Ragnar in Upland. Okay, that's fine. I can do that, I guess. So we'll go ahead and crush this ASAP. They do have a large number of stacks here. They're all small stacks, so we already mostly crushed their armies. And we have Gavilkind Succession in Wales potentially coming up as well. That's going to be, you know, great. Could we offer her a white piece? She would accept it. What would actually happen? Just nothing. We'll keep that in our back pocket. If we need to do this, we will. I would like to go deal with this over here. So. Hmm. I would really like all of these people who rebelled against us to be imprisoned, though. If we could just capture her... Where is she currently? She is leading troops in Varand. Which is where? I think she's over here. Maybe. Yeah, she's here. She's in this stack. Okay, so that's that big stack there. We do have the two revolts going on. There's also these guys. This whole thing is just generally a mess. <laughs> Okay, let's go ahead and deal with these guys. We'll let them finish walking over, otherwise they'll just stop. Come on. You can get there. You can get there. There you go. Okay. She actually wants peace. She doesn't want to continue this. She proposes a white peace under these terms. She loses prestige, we gain prestige. Let's accept it. Let's just get out of this war. Put down our troops. Bring our retinues back here. Actually, bring our retinues up here. Deal with this. We have nine troops here. We'll see if, see if Italy is actually attached. They are still attached, so we'll go ahead and do that. We will also, oh boy. King's Furker for Sweden now. Hang on. We already have a claim on Sweden going on. Would they fight each other? Also, who is this gentleman who apparently has 218.6%? He is the High Chief of Ostrogothia. So he's that guy. He ju We just finished dealing with his rebellion. That's his stack up there, I think. That, that was the 3k stack that was up here. I think that was his stack. Although he's got 1.3k. I mean... We can probably take him. With the help of Italy. We can't rely on Italy too much longer, though. We... 
only have 544 troops ourselves. We really need to get this under control. So, why are people so angry, anyway? Why, why is this actually happening? Well, this guy doesn't like us. For what reason? That was not the button I wanted to press. This guy does not like us because our domain is too big, short reign, wrong government type, he wants a seat on the council, that's a big part of the reason. Foreigner desires the kingdom of Sweden, liege is slothful and arbitrary, okay. Well, overall, that's not too, too bad. I feel like he shouldn't be able to just instantly start a new faction after we white pieced the previous one. It's a bit unfortunate. Hypothetically, can we imprison him? It would be tyrannical. We have a 4% chance. We can't do that. We could put him on the council. That would make him a fair amount happier, actually. He is currently plotting to kill somebody. He is a decent decent learning, but we, he's Germanic. We could put him on the council as our marshal. This guy's a lot better of a marshal. Hmm. Well, we could just improve relations with him down here in his capital, which is somewhere. Good enough. Where is his capital at? here. He has a lot more territory than we want him to have, for sure. If we can imprison him, we can break that up pretty substantially. That would be good. But let's go ahead and raise our personal levies and march on up here. And then... that unit is attached. Go ahead and smack that, like so. We have a new heir. We'll be playing as this guy. Son was born. We will call him Harley. He's probably not Harley, actually. We'll call him probably not Harley. Probably not Harley. There we go. Okay. These guys need to move into Ross and start sieging that. And we also kind of want to detach the army of the Italians, if we can. That would be nice. Okay. So, we do still have some major problems going on here. We have another potential faction, although it's a lot less dangerous now. It's only 81.2% of strength now. That's good. I guess he just had a a big fight or something with somebody. Sounds good to me. We'll keep our vassal levies down, just because we need to keep our vassals a little bit on the happier side. And hey, this is actually really, really solid. He just declared a claim on Smallend War on this guy. Now that is an internal war, and he's going to win that. But that's going to keep him busy. That's why that's solid. It keeps him busy. He's not going to be pushing this anytime soon while he actually fights that war. So that'll be okay. And then we just need to get over here and deal with this. Which is easier said than done. We'll need to get our troops up here, get this siege down. Once that happens, we'll just raise our fleet levies and head over here. I believe each ship can carry 10, or is it... Yeah, I think each ship can carry 10. So to move our, our army here, we'll need all of our vassal levies. Which is, of course, a bit on, on the unfortunate side. We do have a fair amount of money that we could spend on something. Let's go ahead and invest in a keep in our capital. It chunks our money down pretty far, but we desperately need to get some power projection going. And hey, this guy is revolting against the High Chief of Ulster. We'll just allow these 
internal wars to, to happen for now. Ultimately, they will end up being a problem later, but for right now, we absolutely need them to be kept busy. So that's all good. We are actually slightly ahead in this war, and these guys are handily fighting the... Oh, this isn't our revolt. This is a Novgorodian revolt, so it's not actually fighting our, our enemies. Unfortunate. We need people to fight these guys. Ultimately, we'll need Italy to go do that. Italy will be going to do that probably after we finish this siege, is my guess. These two sieges, perhaps. And these internal wars will just keep our vassals busy. In the meantime, we're building up long rain years and just generally making people a little bit happier with us. Yeah, people are slightly less angry at this point. We no longer have a female heir, so that helps. We are over our domain limit. We did give out the duchy, which is, of course, here, this guy. So that also helps. Okay. We are currently in a position where we need to move this Italian army. Italy will have to do that on their own. Let's go ahead and come on down here. We got some tech points, so that is good. Let's go ahead and raise our vassal fleets. And we will stick them all. No, we want vassal fleets. Okay. There we go. Stick them all in caithness. We won't have them up for very long, just long enough to transport. Come on, guys. You can get there. There we go. 62. Excellent. Apparently that's not the hotkey for ships. Apparently there is no... Oh, no, wait. We had the wrong thing selected. It defaults to selecting army. Okay, so the answer is I am dumb. And let's move on. Okay, now off we go. We're going to embark onto the ship. And we are going to head on over here. With any luck, Italy will show up, make their own way. Looks like they are not doing that. In the slightest. Maybe they're just waiting for their ships to get over here. That would be a good thing to do. Okay. We will go ahead and select the troops and go into Scania. We can now go ahead and put down all of our realm fleets. This is a scarily small army that we have here against a scarily large army there. We'll go ahead and go into Dahl as far away as we can from them. Italy is in this war, right? Yes, they are. Okay. Well, hopefully they show up. They did make it up here, so it just took them a while. Okay, so what do we... Would this guy actually accept a white piece? No, he would not. He has no reason to, apparently. He would accept a white piece eventually if we had Italy over here, but we don't. Okay, my liege, my mission to Oz Osnabrück has so far been a success. During my visit to the court of Asta of Onsnabrook, I seem to have managed to make her understand what a benevolent and peaceful ruler you really are. Yeah, that's great, but we, uh, we actually want you up here. Actually, we want you here. <laughs> Misclicked again. We'll, we'll move him here in a minute. Hey, look! High Chief of Lithuania is declaring war on us. Well, well, go ahead and Call Italy into this. Excellent. Absolutely excellent. Well, are you going to show up, Italy? Are you going to come down here? We must have more gold. We became stressed. And we've got an independence faction. Excellent. Excellent. We really need to wrap these up. And just chill. 
What does this guy actually want? He wants one province, this province here. Okay, well. We'll see what we can do about that. We don't have enough troops to siege there or there. We'll just head home. We really need Italy to actually come over here. They're just sitting there. Do they have boats coming up? Yes, that's what they're waiting on. They're waiting on their boats to get there. Okay. And the craftsman, the workshop failed. That's useful. At least she became decent. Betrothed can marry. Who is this? This is our sister, the, prin the princess of Sweden, matrilineally marrying the prince of Burgundy. That is a good plan. We will go ahead and do that. We will also see if Burgundy will form an alliance. And they will. So we'll go ahead and do that. Hello, Burgundy. You want to come fight some wars? <laughs> How about you, Bohemia? Do we have marriage ties with you at all? No, we don't have marriage ties. But we could maybe get some. Arrange marriage between this guy and... Well, this guy is the groom. Do we have any females that are unmarried currently? She's the chiefess of Luxembourg. She's matrilineally married. Uh-huh. We don't actually have anybody, apparently, that could that could manage a a relationship here. Hmm. Bohemia would be great to get on our side. What about Middle Francia? He is already married. Okay. Well, at least we got Burgundy in. And Italy. Italy will be coming over here once their fleets are in position. Yep, he will be joining our wars. Don't think he's very powerful, but it's better than nothing. Special character actions possible. We could negotiate with Dan of Dan's Host. That's a, quite the name you've got there. It really inspires fear. <laughs> Dan's Host. Well, let's see what he wants. He wants... County of Scania. Um... Do we want to give him Scania? Maybe. Scania. That's this county right here. This would be our county. That would get us down to our domain limit. Let's do it. Let's give it to him. He is Germanic. But let's go ahead and do it. That way, we no longer have the domain pe the d domain penalty from being over our domain limit, and we also have a potential ally there. He doesn't want these terms, but he thinks that he he thinks that he doesn't want to pay us gold. I think that's okay. Let's just give it to him. He'll be our liege, or. Of course, by liege, I mean our vassal. And he converted to Catholicism, so that is super solid. Okay. So, we've now got Dan. <laughs> and here comes Burgundy. They've got 1,500 troops. And here comes it Italy. They are now coming in this way. We're going to go ahead and start walking up here, just because Italy is on their way in. They're probably going to come all the way around here. We want to knock this this rebellion out ASAP. Duke of Mercia thinks that we have the flu. And he gave us some hot goat's milk with honey and it kind of worked. Minor symptom treatment. Excellent. Come on Italy, what you going to do? 
you can make it. Yeah, there they are. Where are they going? They're going to Upland. They're going here. And he wants to buy a small plot of our land. There's not enough gold in his pockets, though. So we're not going to let him do that. Looks like Italy attached to us. Burgundy is... Mm, still there. They're, they're making their, their way up. We are going to need to crush this guy. He's going to stop there. And now we're going to chase him. This guy wants to join our war. The Pope wants to join our war. He wants to help us against Lithuania. Yes. Please help, Pope. We will take the help. I'm not above asking the Pope for help in a war. <laughs> Come help us, Pope. Mr. Poperson. Popey von Poperson. We are bedridden with the flu. Excellent. Well, we are still pretty young. We should survive it, theoretically. If not, this will go back over to Harley and he can... He made this bed. I guess he can lie in it. <laughs> That'll be exciting. Our court physician came to see us and offers treatment for our illness. He explains that there are several different types of treatment he can offer. Our life in his hands, he does like us a fair amount, and he's quite learned. And we are quite young. I think it's probably safe to go for the slightly riskier option. This guy died in, in combat. Okay. The only cure for our condition was a naked midnight run. During the next full moon, he forced us to undress and sprint through the wilderness. Do not stop until your legs give, give out under you, he yelled after you. After us. Expel the evil through your sweat. We feel amazing. That was a really good treatment. Thanks, guy. Okay. So we come up here, we crush this. After this battle, hopefully we capture this guy. That would be ideal. The Pope is in on this fight. I'm not sure if the Pope is actually... 44 galleys. How many troops does the Pope actually have? Decent amount. 4,000. He can actually fight this. So, he'll make his way up here. Okay, we're going to keep fighting this. We're going to deal with our rebellion and let the Pope deal with this, since this is the only war he's actually in. Burgundy is making their way up here as well. It's taking them a while, though. Okay. And we just keep fighting. We do still have these dangerous factions, but we now have some pretty solid allies to help us with them. So that's good. This is all turning out reasonably okay-ish. And we recovered from the flu. Now the coughing, fever, and headache are just unpleasant memories. We feel better. Excellent. Well, let's keep crushing this. Hmm, what does this guy want? To my liege, the great rogue Gaston, it has not escaped me that several of your commanders lack formal training in military tactics. So this guy is trying to get a favor on us. He actually has a positive opinion of us now, which is good. Very, very good. But he's just trying to gain leverage on us. Let's say no. Oh, hey, a declaration of war. Chief of Luxembourg, Seneschal of Middle Francia, has declared on us. Well, we'll go ahead and call in our various allies. <laughs> How much of Middle Francia is actually at this? Just this county? Looks like just this county. Okay. Well, we'll deal with that in a minute. The, that's Germanic. We'll see if the Pope actually wants to help us against that. Hmm. Well, he may offer to join. We can't request it, it would appear. So many wars getting piled on here. Oh, hey, here's another one. Chief of Finland. That is just this guy. Okay, well, we'll call in our allies. And this guy is trying to be a lollard. We could become a Lollard. But the Pope is helping us in these wars, and we need the Pope's help right now. So we're just going to arrest this guy. There we go. And we can call in her into this war. 
we now have an, a council position open, so let's go ahead and put this bishop in. He's a glory seeker. Well, have we got the glory for him. This guy wants a white piece now, leader of the Irish Revolt. We're going to go ahead and decline that. We're just against a couple of counts and Lithuania at this point. We have the Pope's help against Lithuania. Okay. She's going to help us out. Excellent. Excellent. We definitely could use another ally, and Bohemia is still a solid target for that. They are Slavic, pagan. So what about just straight up Middle Francia? Who is his heir? He doesn't have one. Okay. Well, we'll keep an eye on that. Well, this has certainly been action-packed. <laughs> we'll see if we can wrap up one of these wars before we end this. Maybe we can. Maybe we can't. Hey, we get some money. Let's debase the mints with less precious metals for profits. A thriving economy is good for, for the realm. Okay, we just really need to capture this guy, ideally. If we can put some of our vassals in the oubliette, that would be fantastic. Hey, there's the Pope. Pope is out here fighting these guys. Excellent. Thanks, Pope. So we do still have this and this going on. This guy's a mayor, apparently. Yeah. We'll need to deal with that. We just have so many people piling on over and over and over. Very frustrating. Can't get much done that way. We do have a fair amount of gold, though. Let's go ahead and see about investing it in a keep in our capital county, just so that we can have a few more troops and look a little bit stronger to the computer. Hey, Italy's fighting these guys. That's good, I guess. Okay. So, we've had some pretty major internal turmoil going on here for quite a long time. Looks like the Pope has pretty much taken this. Well, we'll keep trying to fight these guys as best we can. Which is pretty well at this point. We are losing some of these wars, but we are winning others. Well, we're not really losing any wars. We're stalemating some of these wars, and we're winning others. Go ahead and wipe out these troops. As well as these troops, and then we'll siege these back. We are certainly approaching the ability to actually declare peace on this guy and imprison him, which is the goal. We want to imprison this guy. So there's not really much of a threat up here. We'll go ahead and split our troops slightly. Hmm. We have no troops here. This is all Italy. <laughs> Good job, Italy. Okay, so Finland is over there right now. Pope doesn't actually want to help us against Finland, it would appear, or any of these other Germanics that we are currently dealing with. Yeah, he's... he doesn't really like us so much, actually. He's... we, we should probably... I mean... We don't really have anything we can do with him. It's a bit unfortunate, but... It is what it is, I guess. We do need to just get these back. Once that happens, we will be in a super solid position here in terms of this this war, at least. Okay, he's marching into here with 650 troops. We want to cut them off just as soon as they get there. We got some tech points, so that's good. We'll go cra crash into these guys. And we have a spy master that we can appoint. We'll make it be this guy. Some of our old vassals that hated us are dying off, which is excellent. We'll go ahead and just research cultural tech over here. We actually have the high chief sieging our capital right now. That is very, very unfortunate indeed. 
Okay. We just need to wipe out these troops a little bit more. Take some of their territory. We just... There's so many fronts. They keep declaring war. How many is this? This is what, like the ninth war without any peace in between? All I want to do is chill, guys. All I want to do is chill. Well, the Pope is doing okay over here. So that's good. We did lose our court chaplain. We'll have this guy be our new court chaplain. There we go. We're going to be losing our capital here in a sec. Which is very unfortunate, but it is what it is. Looks like Italy is moving more troops in here. Laying waste to 8th Claith Castle in Dublin wasn't enough for the underhanded High Chief Badris. He stole one of our possessions. The splint mail armor that Harley had crafted. That's no good. What a jerk. What a jerk. Okay, we're at 87% here. We go ahead and march this way. For now, at least. Take this out. Take that. There we go. Let's siege his capital. Let's get this guy out of this war. We just need to get this down ASAP. Because we need to get back to Ireland. And he has done more harm than good. Lovely. Always nice. Okay. We lost some more sieges. Pope is just kind of wandering around over here. But we need to get out of some of these wars. If we can just get this sieged, we'll be in a reasonable position for this guy to accept peace. He currently won't give up quite yet. I think once this happens, we'll just disband our troops here. And raise new troops over here in defense of our homeland. In fact... We could, theoretically, raise some vassal levies over here. Group these guys up right around here-ish. Well, right around here-ish. Well, they're, they're all walking through this stuff. We'll just go this way. We'll raise vassal levies, get these guys out of here, use our vassal levies to defend our territory. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got a lot of troops over there. We'll just keep trickling in troops, I guess. Since he's in a really awkward position, I really hate doing this. But we do have a lot of troops coming in. Maybe if they get there, they're not getting there. Come on, guys. There we go. Now we're getting there. Okay, how are we going over here? We're going okay-ish. This is becoming a very big problem very quickly. Okay, there. We won that. He should retreat to there if he's retreating anywhere. Nope, he did not. He's retreating to there. Okay. We almost have this one, but not quite yet. Go ahead and move all of these guys over here. This is just overall super awkward. Can't really get over here currently. Pope is doing good work down here though. So that's excellent. Okay, so this is the army of Jorvid Jorverdas Coronia. Who, which war is that? What, who is this, actually? I'm not actually sure which war this is part of. This is becoming a huge problem, though. We desperately need to get down here and deal with this. So that's going to be the next target once we get this siege done. This guy still wants to white piece. We're not going to let him do that. We're ahead on the siege curve here, so this should theoretically get us up to 100%-ish. Yes. Okay. Offer peace. Enforce demands. He will become imprisoned from this. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Okay. He gets the oubliette. 
I am done with him. We'll merge these guys together, and we have to come down here and deal with this. There's no other way around it. Otherwise, we're going to be forced into surrendering territory down here. So this is definitely the next target. Hey, look! It's a war declaration. From the Jarl of Jorvik. Okay. This guy again. Lovely. Absolutely lovely. Okay, well. This has kind of gone over. I'm going to go ahead and put a cut in here. But hopefully, World War Ireland will be over in the next episode. I'll see you all then. <laughs>